Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Panda. Today we are playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and today we are playing as Ikiza Izinki. I mean if that means, you know, of course you guys know this, we're playing as a Rose Dragon deck. Of course, because that's just how it is. So of course we have all the three different Rose Dragons and then we have Black Rose Dragon and Ruby Rudy Rose Dragon that's like a must in these decks. And your main card in your normal deck is Rocks Rose. So if you run three copies of Rocks Rose, that's honestly not bad. And then at that point, just get rid of like one of the Witch of the Black Rose, or maybe even a Thorn of Malice. So, the reason why I didn't make this deck back when Black Rose was like the meta deck where everyone was playing Black Rose, especially when this card came into Duel Links and this card came into Duel Links with the structure deck, because Rocks Rose, Thorn of Malice, and Basil Rose Shoot, you only get one copy from the structure deck, so you have to use tickets to get the rest. And I'm pretty sure you can only get Rox Rose Dragon through Super Rare Dream Tickets. So I had to wait until I had Super Rare and Ultra Rare Dream Tickets for Basil Rose Shoot and Rox Rose Dragon. And that just took, you know, forever because those are very hard to obtain and we get them maybe twice a year. So that's why it took me a little bit over a year to get what I actually need for this deck because I'm not only just working on this deck, I'm working on other decks as well. But with that being said, let's get into the deck itself. We're running two Rocks Rose Dragons, but like I said earlier, you can probably run three and then get rid of one Witch of the Black Rose. We're running one Rudy Rose Dragon, three White Rose Dragons, two Witch of the Black Roses, two Blue Rose Dragons, and then on for our spell cards, we're running two Basil Rose Shoots, two MST Mystical Space Typhoons, two Thorns of Malice, and then for our trap cards, we got four defensive trap cards with a Mirror Force, with Floodgate Trap Hole, and two Wall of Disruptions. Now, with this deck, you guys can see I'm playing more of a more meta type deck with having MST instead of like, say, I don't know, Galaxy Cyclone or more wall, uh, wall of Disruption, Draining Shield, Drowning Mirror Force, all my usual defensive trap cards. I feel like at this point, everyone has at least two copies of, the, of MST and like two copies of Floodgate and all this and that. I was just using the previous ones before, so that way, you know, it's more free to play friendly. You don't have to be wasting ultra rare tickets on them and dream tickets and whatnot. But if you guys do need replacements for these, any basic defensive trap cards work for Floodgate and Mirror Force. And then, I'm assuming most people have a Galaxy Cyclone because a lot of people tried to get stuff from Gaia Genesis and Galaxy Cyclones from Gaia Genesis. So there's that little spiel right there. But the whole point of this deck is using Rox Rose Dragon. Rox Rose Dragon is your level three tuner monster that's gonna help you get Black Rose Dragon out there. And then once you have Black Rose, you activate Basil Rose Shoot by using Rox Rose's effect to draw Basil. Then you go ahead and activate Basil so you can resummon Rox Rose then you synchro summon again using your black rose dragon and your rocks rose so you get rudy rose dragon and then depending on what's on the field you activate its effect by banishing everything on the in the graveyard and then destroying the field the only thing is is that when you use rudy rose dragon's effect you don't destroy yourself so you still have rudy rose out there but with black rose if you activate its effect upon synchro summoning, you also lose your monsters as well. So you don't really want to be activating Black Rose's effect unless you absolutely have to. Um, Rudy Rose, again, same thing, because you do want to use cards in your graveyard. They are fairly handy. And then Blue Rose Dragon, a lot of people don't actually run Blue Rose, but I found it kind of helpful because say you're in a tough situation, your opponent has some cards out there, you set Blue Rose Dragon, they destroy it, then you can bring out Black Rose Dragon, and then, you know, you have a decently strong monster out there. Thorn of Malice is just there for boosting up attack points of your Black Rose Dragon and helping with piercing damage, so if your opponent's constantly facing down monsters, setting them, go ahead and activate Thorn of Malice on your Black Rose and go crazy there. Witch of the Black Rose is just there for drawing, so if we get her first hand, we go ahead and summon her, then we can draw cards if we need to, help us get another Rocks Rose or one of these spell and trap cards that we need. White Rose is our big, our big activator card, basically we normal summon him and let's say we have a Rocks Rose in our hand, we can go ahead and summon Rocks Rose right off the bat. Synchro Summon, Synchro Summon again, and all that. So, White Rose is our combination builder. Then we have Rudy Rose Dragon. Rudy Rose is basically there, so if we have to activate Rudy Rose Dragon's effect, then we still have this to be able to bring back a, a Black Rose Dragon, potentially a Rocks Rose Dragon if needed. So that's really the only reason why we 
we have Rudy Rose, and that's why we only have one copy. And then, of course, the, the, the ability that we're running is Spell of Roses. You can run Black Rose Gale if you want, I guess. But I really don't see any point because it's basically using Black Rose's effect upon Synchro Summoning. So I don't really see an option for that or really a, a reason for that. So Spell of Roses is the best ability that I have for this. And then our extra deck, you guys already saw we're running Rudy Rose Dragon, two Black Rose Dragons, and then a bunch of random level 8, 5, and 7 Synchro Monsters. I'm running Cyber Slash Harpy, Blood Manifest, Young Mir, the Dragon of the Icebreaker, Samurai Destroyer, and Aroma Seraphy Rosemary. But with that being said, we've got we've gone into how the d deck works, how to actually play the deck, what the deck consists of. But with that being said, let's get ourselves right into a duel. Alright, so we found ourselves an opponent here. We got Commander. Commander. He's playing as a Joey Wheeler. It's, it's um interesting. Not sure what we can expect here. If we were playing at the same time Rox Rose was popular, we'd probably be saying Noble Knight. But really good starting hand. This is a fantastic starting hand. Wow, okay. White Rose Dragon, Rox Rose Dragon, Floodgate Trap Hole, MST. Perfect. If he places something down in his set cards, he does. Alright, we activate MST, then we summon White Rose, then we activate Rox Rose's effect and such, and we get Ruby. Oh, we got two of them out there. Oh my god. This is literally perfect. Okay. Um, I don't think we want to activate the skill. The skill is basically just there to get us another Rocks Rose if we need it. But let's go ahead and activate an MST straight off the bat. Get rid of one of those back row. Let's get rid of this one. Why not? Let's see. It seems like he can activate it or activate his other one. It's a wall of disruption. Okay. That's not bad. But now we know that this is the spell and trap card that he was working with or had the option of activating. Let's go ahead and summon a White Rose. Then we activate its effect to summon a Rocks Rose. But he's got something. Is it like a Book of Moon or something? Doesn't seem like it. We summon one Rocks Rose. We activate Rocks Rose's effect, so that way we can grab any card that we need here. Let's grab ourselves a Basil Rose Shoot. So that way we don't really have to use this second Rocks Rose unless we need to. But let's go ahead and special summon ourselves a Black Rose Dragon right off the bat. Go ahead and do that. Got Black Rose Dragon out here. Then let's go ahead and not activate Black Rose's effect. He's got something. What's he got? What does he have? He's got something. He decides still not to activate it. We're going to set our trap, a trap hole. Then we're going to activate Basil Rose Shoot. So that way we can bring back a Rocks Rose from our graveyard. We're not going to summon Rudy Rose quite yet because I want to see what he has in that in that back row because that back row of his is kind of scaring me right now because i have a feeling it's going to be something crazy we got a blue eyes deck he's playing a blue eyes all right that's interesting what is this common charity draw two cards and from play one okay that's not too bad it's just to draw two cards with that out of the way we can now go ahead and safely summon rudy rose right right maybe let's go ahead and summon rudy rose see what happens he straight up surrenders. That's that's unfortunate. That's not really what I wanted to see there. But you guys saw we can get Rudy Rose out there in turn one, really. I just waited until turn two because I was scared of the back row. Which, honestly, you shouldn't be at all. I just play a little more conservative than I probably should. But let's go ahead and do one more because why not, right? This deck is fantastic. It's, it's great. Beautiful. If you guys watched my top ten decks, it would probably make it there. We got Soul Burner. Okay, so we could be seeing a Salamangrate. Salamangrate is still kind of relevant. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a few Salamangrates here and there. Looks like we do have a Salamangrate. Okay, it's his turn. Not a good starting hand at all. Um, we go ahead and summon Witch of the Black Rose and hopefully we get what we're looking for. We get like a White Rose Dragon maybe. That'd be nice. We do start off with an MST in hand, so if he's got back row, we're good there. We can set Wall of Disruption. Rudy Rose isn't really going to be as important here unless we get like a Blue Rose Dragon, in which case we can maybe summon like Blood Manifest or a Cyber Slash Harpy. But I'm curious to see what he does because whatever he does depends on what is going to determine what I do with this hand because this is not like a great starting hand like the last duel where we had Rudy Red Rose Dragon whatever it is out there first turn. One eternity later. This is so sad. This is so so sad. He knew that I was playing Red Rose or whatever, Rose Dragon, and he just timed out. That's just so sad. Third time's the charm they always say. Well we found our third opponent, hopefully Shirara Poom. 
actually gives us a decent duel here. Playing as a Seto Kaiba, so I could easily be seeing a Blue Eyes here. We're going second, which is not bad. Seems like we might legitimately have a Blue Eyes deck here. Alright, not a good starting hand. Not a good starting hand at all. So he just sets a monster, which isn't great. I mean, it's not like anything crazy here. But let's go ahead and activate Spell of Roses, because why not? We don't have a Rocks Rose or anything like that. Let's go ahead and send, send Witch of the Black Rose to the Graveyard. And then we can go ahead and grab a Rocks Rose Dragon. And then we can go top of the deck. It doesn't really matter, because it's going to get shuffled eventually. But then I think at this point... We're not going to be able to get uh, Black Rose Dragon out there first turn. Let's go ahead and normal summon our Rocks Rose Dragon, so that way we can at least get a Basil Rose shoot on our in our hand here. And then let's go ahead and attack because, you know, why not? Let's see what this face down card is. It's probably a White Stone of Ancients. It's not. What is this? Arc Fiend? What the heck is an Arc Fiend? Not an Arch Fiend. Arc Fiend. Mechanical Arc Fiend. And it's not even spelled mechanical. It's mechanical but not. And he just sets another monster. Okay. I'm kind of confused. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of confused. Let's go ahead and activate White Rose's effect. That way we can just normal summon or special summon it. And then we can summon, we can go ahead and summon Black Rose Dragon here. I'm not gonna activate Basil Rose Shoot just so that way we can get another Rocks Rose because I do want to activate Thorn of Malice here. Uh, let's not activate its effect. Let's go ahead and go ahead and Set Blue Rose Dragon, so that way just in case they have something iffy there, we have a backup to get another Black Rose out there. Let's go ahead and activate Thorn of Malice, equip it to our Black Rose Dragon here, and then enter the battle phase. Let's attack this one right here. Let's not activate Basil Rose Shoot yet. It's... Oh, great. Yay. It's one of those flip effect cards. I love them so much. All right, so we activate its effect. Obviously, two of our monsters will be going back to our hand. So Black Rose goes away, and... Blue Rose will go away, which is fine because we still have Floodgate Trapple in the back just in case. That's why you have trap cards. We do lose our Thorn of Malice, unfortunately, but uh, I think we just go ahead and end our turn. We dealt a nice bit of damage there. I thought we were going to be facing off against the Blue Eyes deck, but um, apparently not. Apparently not. So we seem to be in a situation here, despite not needing to be in a situation. Let's go ahead and normal summon Blue Rose Dragon. Then we can go ahead and activate Basil Rose Shoot. Get ourselves a Rocks Rose from our graveyard. Go ahead and activate it. Bring in a Neville Basil Rose Shoot. And then we can go ahead and bring in our Black Rose Dragon. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to get out Rudy Rose in this duel either, but you guys can see how easy it is. All right, you guys, don't, we didn't face any meadow decks or anything crazy like that, so unfortunately, you guys don't actually get to see that. However, the main point of these showcase duel things are just to show you guys how to actually play the deck. Because I explained them in the beginning, but you know, words are very difficult, okay? Words are very hard. So we need to actually show you guys so you guys get the visual. But yeah, that's that's how you guys win with the deck. So now, I guess, let's go over how to actually get these cards. So most of these cards come from either one of two things. Either the Black Rose Dragon Structure Deck or the Black Rose Dragon Mini Box. So starting off with Rocks Rose, you guys are going to get from Rudy Rose Burning Structure Deck. Rudy Rose Witch, same thing, the Structure Deck. White Rose Dragon, you guys are also going to get from the Structure Deck, but then you, I think, you, how many do you get of each? Okay, so you get one Rudy Rose, you get one Rocks Rose, uh, this is completely useless, you get both of your Witch of the Black Roses, Fall Angel of Roses, completely useless, you get two White Rose Dragons, and then you get two Blue Rose Dragons, one Basil Rose Shoot, one Black Rose Dragon, and one Rudy Rose Dragon. So, you get about half the deck from the Structure Deck, and then the rest you're going to get from Burning Rose. So you get one from Burning Rose, the rest are from the Structure Deck, as you guys saw earlier. Which of the Black Roses are going to come from the Structure Deck? Both of your Blue Roses are going to come from the Structure Deck. One Basil Rose Shoot is going to come from the Structure Deck, and the other one you have to get from the Dream Ticket, same with the second Rocks Rose. 
MST, you guys know, is coming from Anatomic Theory. Uh, Thorn of Malice is a drop, so not a ticket only thing. So you get one through level up rewards, and then the second one you have to get through a drop. And then uh, Mirror Force, I'm assuming everyone has one because it was a login bonus campaign reward a while ago. Bloodgate, you guys are gonna get from Next Generate, Generation Next, my bad, not Next Generation. And then Wall of Disruption, you guys are gonna get from Servants of Kings. Now for our extra deck, you guys know Rudy Rose is from the structure deck, one of your black roses from the structure deck, and then the second black rose you have to get from Burning Rose. And then if you want to use these exact extra synchro monsters, which you don't necessarily have to have, like we didn't even use them, you probably won't be using them unless you need their specific effects for some reason. Uh, Blood, Blood Manifest, we got from Ranked Duel Tickets. Uh, Cyber Slash Harpy, you get the one with our face on it, Sign of Harpies. Uh, Rosemary, you guys are gonna get from the Card Trader. I'm pretty sure she shows up in Featured under the Ultra Rare Super Rare section, I think. And then I'm not sure if she actually shows up in the regular inventory. So she actually doesn't show up in the regular inventory either. So she's only a featured item card. So if you see her, pick her up because you're not only gonna use her for this deck if you want. You can also use her for a, a Romage deck, you know, which is used to be very popular. And then Dragon of the Ice Bar Barrier, you guys are gonna get from Cybernetic Rebellion. And then Samurai Destroyer, you guys are gonna get from Dark Dimension or Fantastic Arc. So that's that's the deck, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications because I'm still working on decks that were meta about a year ago because of how hard they are to get because they contain a lot of super and ultra rares. So make sure you guys subscribe with those post notifications on so you guys don't miss those videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.